Hello and a merry fake pen summer to you all. Today at Stephen Inks we are looking at another brand new copy of someone else's idea. This pen is the, well, I don't know what to call it because uh, it just says MB Mont and it is labeled with Mont Blanc on the front side. Everything down to the finial tells me that this is supposed to be a Mont Blanc pen, but is it? There's no way of knowing till we try it. It isn't. But let's see what we've got here today. I didn't know because the pictures kind of hid this, but it actually does have the um, the Mont Blanc uh, finial, which is super cheesy. Like we all know that this is not a Mont Blanc. We know that if you're gonna spend the amount of money that this pen costs, that you're not getting the genuine item, but it even says down here in the edge, Meisterstück Mont Blanc. Um, and it is a direct copy of a Little Prince tribute pen that Mont Blanc made many years ago, which I don't believe is uh, in circulation right now. So if you wanted a pen like this, you'd have to find it somewhere. I've got one gripe right off the top of, um, as someone who's a big fan of the, the Little Prince, um, and for all of my international listeners, I will take this moment to sincerely apologize for the American animation that was made several years ago. Um, that's just the exact opposite of everything that I love about the book. Uh, but uh, is this really a tribute to the Little Prince? Because it's got like, okay, there's a planet and I'm assuming these are supposed to be sand dunes in an airplane. Like that's kind of, it's kind of lazy. Like where's the real like, like where's the inside um, design specifications? I guess this little yellow star, but that could be anything. It doesn't, it's just not enough of a tribute in my opinion. Uh, I, I hardly know uh, what to say. I, I'm, I'm criticizing the Mont Blanc design because this is exactly the Mont Blanc design. So I don't know, just do more with it. There's a bunch of really cool tributes that they've done. Mont Blanc, I mean, they're too expensive for me. So uh, I don't own any of them, but I look at them online and I think and I dream. Um, this metal is very sharp, which is weird. It feels like they just cut it out and they didn't do anything to smooth the edges. And I feel like I cut myself on this. So let's hope that I don't. Uh, on the other hand, towards the edge of the pen, it feels very kind of a little bit more smoothed out. So hopefully it won't be a problem if I post the cap. Opening it up, um, metal section, boo. Metal sections are not my favorite. And um, there's a kind of a chrome trim, which means that if I get my hands warm and very slippery, it could slide around a bit. Um, the pen feels a little bit short, so I am gonna think about what will happen if I post it. It doesn't post very securely. Yeah, it doesn't post very securely at all. And these edges do kind of hit my hand in a weird way, so I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I might not post this because I, moving my hand back and forth, it's like sawdust on my skin. So maybe, maybe this will have to be enough. And what's that on the stamp? It's, yeah, it's the Mont Blanc logo, and it says that uh, 4810, which is a number that they use a lot. I can't remember what that number stands for. Someone tell me in the comments. And it says 14K. It actually, I don't think I can get it to show, but it actually says 14K at the bottom. So that's ridiculous. Liars. Anyway, um, cheap plastic on the back end here. Nothing special. This looks like a pretty decent uh, converter though. It says Mont Blanc on it, so you can trick people who are not very smart. Um, think, let them think you have a Mont Blanc um, because of your converter. This says Mont Blanc. Uh, this is a ridiculous pen. Okay, and here's another question that I, I talked about this in the introduction video, but why does this feed seat so far back from the tines of the nib? Is that right? It doesn't it doesn't move in and out. Like I can't, I can't move this feed and the nib at all without, I'm worried about I'm gonna break it before I can review it. So I'm not gonna do that, but it's like, why is it so far back? I've never seen that before. And I don't think these tines are exactly even. It looks like it's a little bit 
uh, more on this side than this side, like it wasn't cut right. So all kinds of stuff going on there. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit, um, is gonna start writing anything when I ink it up, but we're gonna do that now. And I am going to complain about this pen even more. Okay, so given the nature of this uh, pen being, uh, the body being this kind of maroonish color, I thought something in the red uh, purple range would be a good ink for this pen. So I've decided to go with Colorverse Conjecture. Um, this is from the sample set that I, I purchased a few years ago, and I'm impressed to say that I still have quite a lot for a bottle this tiny, five milliliters, you'd be surprised how many fills of ink I can get from this one bottle. And the way to do it with a bottle this size, because definitely you are not gonna see the, um, the ink inside this bottle that you're not gonna be able to fit the nib directly in. So the converter does fit pretty easily though. And so that's how I fill these pens whenever I fill them. And we're just gonna go with what we get the first time. That's a pretty decent fill. Hopefully it's enough, because I think the nib of this pen is gonna be a bit wider than advertised. So hopefully we can use that for some art. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go, uh, checking out this ink. Um, by the way, I think I mentioned before, but this it's very annoying to me that a pen like this does not post. We're not gonna be able to use this posted. Um, let's uh, do some hatch lines and see what we can get here. Okay. It comes out pretty well, but I am noticing a lot of ink comes out. And there are little breaks. If you notice right here, I started writing right here, but it didn't start putting down ink till right there. And then it cuts off here too, a little bit of a blob there. Um, it's subtle and we'll see what happens as I continue working with this thing, but this doesn't feel like very good construction, uh, which is unfortunate considering that this is, with one exception, pretty much the most expensive of the pens that I purchased for this series. A lot of them, I mean, you can get away with a lot of quality issues if you're cheap, but if I'm paying a decent amount of money for you, even if you're not really a Mont Blanc, which of course we all know that this is a knockoff, obviously, just be cheaper then if you're gonna be you're gonna be crap. Um, so it is kind of keeping up with me. So I just, I'm just not sure if this is going to last even the amount of um, kind of, uh, of flow that I'm getting. Will it last? This is definitely a, um, a wet writer or a wet, a wet line maker, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I just, I feel like I don't, I just, I don't like this. Maybe I'll be wrong by the end of the video. Okay, so there we go. It's skipping out again. I am moving kind of fast here through these hatches, but it's skipping. This pen is a little bit too short to not be posted, so it's kind of uncomfortable, which makes me want to draw faster and it can't, the feed's not really keeping up with me. And um, I know I just said this, but this is the weirdest looking feed I've ever seen. And the setting of the feed, the nib is like way far behind it. I've never seen anything like that before. And it looks like I was not wrong in thinking that that's a design flaw because I really can't get anything decent out of this nib as far as the speed of the flow, it's cutting out. This is not good. 
this does not work very well. Um, so, I'm not looking forward to drawing with this for an hour or two coming up very soon. Um, I might have to come up with something really simple I can draw just to kind of choke my way through using this pen. I really, mm, I'm really not hopeful about what this can do. Uh, but let's really quickly look at the forward. So it's wet and it's thick. Um, this is a wider length than I would usually be comfortable using for a drawing. I usually like fine, extra fine. This feels almost like a medium. Um, Definitely the reverse is thinner. It feels okay. I'm just gonna write at the bottom, feels okay. The reverse writing doesn't feel too bad. I've definitely had pens like this where it felt very scratchy doing the reverse writing, but it, it's not putting down lines very consistently. Then again, neither is the forward writing. So uh, this is gonna be a challenge coming forward. Um, let me just give you guys some art advice. Get some rest. This doesn't seem like art advice, but honestly, when your creative muscles are taxed from a long day, sometimes it's really good to just get some rest and wait for a day when you feel just ready to sit down and make something. Um, I've been tired the last couple of days and I just haven't picked up my pen. I haven't been drawing and I think it's actually um, my 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 inclination is to like feel bad and be down on myself because I'm not doing the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. But actually, I think the right decision when you're tired, uh, when you just don't feel up to it is to take a rest and see if you can come back to it with fresh eyes the next day, which is what I'm going to do for this drawing. going to take a little break and be right back. For you. So let's call the theme of this drawing um, a reflection of how much fun I had using this pen. Uh, I'm being very sarcastic. The answer is not much fun at all. Um, the, uh, the pen just sort of um, didn't perform very well. Um, there was this kind of uh, the lines were, were really thick at times, and you can see me actually priming the nib to work. So it was like a, a mix of lines too thick and then lines that didn't come out of the pen at all. So it's very inconsistent. Um, it's very poorly made. It's a real bad pen. Um, and I had about as much fun as this sad little elephant that's on a little springy turtle with a an oddly shaped balloon. So that's my comment on the whole thing. This definitely, it was, I, I kind of figured that it would be a disappointing pen, that there wouldn't be anything very good coming out of it. And um, yeah, I was right. Sometimes your instincts can be believed. And in this case, definitely so. Um, it's a shame that this pen doesn't have any redeeming value as a pen in and of itself. Um, you know, it is definitely a blatant copy, but at the same time, it'd be really great if there was just some value that it had as just even as a thing that exists. And it really is just a poorly, poorly, poorly made pen um, that even for the purposes of this video, I regret buying it. That's my hot take. Final thoughts on this pen. Don't buy it. It's awful. Uh, it sucks. Uh, there's only one reason you might want to buy a pen like this is to convince people that you have a real Mont Blanc, but anyone who's into pens is going to instantly be able to tell this is a fake. It's so shoddily made. Um, and anyone who's not into pens is going to be completely indifferent to the brand anyway. Hey. You see this? It's a, it's, it's a real Mont Blanc. Really? Hmm?
so there's no point. Um, I would say save your money and you can get a really nice pen that's got some original thought into it um, that works very well for definitely uh, less than the amount that you would pay for a uh, fake Mont Blanc pen. Um, either save your money for the real thing or get something that's good uh, that's in your lane. Um, personally, I don't think I'll ever own a real Mont Blanc and uh, this is no substitute. So um, that's it for this pen. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you for your likes, for your subscribes, for your kind comments below. And uh, I'm interested to add to this discussion. So uh, please make some comments, what you thought of the video and um, what your thoughts are on the subject in general. Uh, I can't wait to show you my next video and it's uh, coming soon. So um, until that day, have a great day, everybody. Look at my pen. Look at it. Look at it.